Good morning children. Let us continue chapter 14 Atmospheric pressure on wells. Here blows from high pressure areas towards the low pressure areas. The up and down movement that is vertical movement is known as air current whereas the horizontal movement that uh, means east to west or west to east movement is known as wind. Winds and air currents manage a system of circulation in the atmosphere. They transfer heat from one place to the other place. Now children, factors affecting wind direction and velocity. So there are two factors. One is pressure gradient means where the pressure gradient is low or gentle the velocity of the wind will be slow and where the pressure gradient is high steeper means the wind will blow with high velocity then correlus effect the effect which is created due to the earth's rotation is known as Coriolis effect means due to this effect what happens the things are deflected from their actual position towards the right in the northern hemisphere and towards the left in the southern hemisphere. So maybe winds or ocean currents because they are moving so they are deflected towards the right in the northern hemisphere. This arrow is showing the actual movement of the wind right here also and this arrow is showing the deflected movement here also. Okay. So this is what is correlus effect. Now children types of winds prevailing winds, permanent winds or planetary winds. One and the same thing. Okay. The winds which prevail, which blow constantly in a particular direction are known as prevailing winds because they blow permanently in the particular direction. So permanent winds and they blow on the earth that is planet. So planetary winds, trade winds, westerlies and polar easterlies. These are three types of permanent winds. Periodic winds, the winds which blow in a particular direction for a particular period and after that they reverse the direction are known as periodic winds or seasonal winds because they blow in a particular season. Local winds, the winds which affect small area for a very small duration. Example, Chinu, Fohan, Lu, Norwester, Santa Ana, Mistral, Bora and there are many like Hamilton. Then variable winds, the winds which develop due to the variation in the uh, pressure builds okay like cyclones and anti-cyclones children winds are named after the direction or the place from where they blow this figure is showing permanent winds of the earth surface permanent winds are also known as prevailing winds or planetary winds so first is tra uh, trade winds. They blow from subtropical high pressure belt to the equatorial low pressure belt. Also known as easterlies because they blow from eastern direction. And these are helpful for trade. Right. These winds are known as northeast trade winds in the northern hemisphere and southeast trade winds in the 
southern hemisphere then westerlies they blow from western direction to the eastern direction from subtropical high pressure belt to the subpolar low pressure belt as they blow opposite to the direction of trade winds means easterlies so they are known as anti trade winds and they hinders trade also then polar winds also known as polar easterlies because they blow from poles and from eastern direction they blow from uh, polar high pressure belt to the subpolar low pressure belt easterlies they bring rainfall on the eastern margins of the continent whereas westerlies brings rainfall on the western margins of the continent now sea breeze and land breeze they are the examples of seasonal winds or you can say periodic winds as i have told you winds are named after the direction or the place from where they originate so sea breeze they blow from sea to land during day whereas land breeze blow from land to sea during night these winds are caused due to the differential heating of land and sea means what during day land receives high temperature becomes hot so pressure is low we have discussed already in the atmospheric pressure part that there is inverse relationship between temperature and pressure high temperature low pressure water still cool during day so low temperature on the sea and high pressure okay that's why winds blow from sea to land these winds as they are blowing from water body can bring rainfall to the coastal regions these winds are hot and humid during night because land radiates heat also quickly so become cool low temperature here so pressure is high water still warmer so high temperature but pressure is low therefore wind start blowing from high pressure areas towards the low pressure areas these winds as they blow from land so dry winds these are cool winds but they will not bring rainfall to the coastal areas now monsoon winds also known as summer monsoons or winter monsoons means summer monsoon and winter monsoon are the two branches of monsoon winds monsoons are periodic winds also you can say seasonal winds and the word monsoon is derived from arabic language mausim which means season means these winds they change their direction after 6 months due to the differential heating of land and water here also same now during summer because sun is on the tropic of cancer so high temperature on the land and water is cooler so a uh, low temperature means high pressure on the surrounding water bodies that's why winds blow from sea to land okay during summer season right now during winter sun shifts towards the capricorn so land become cooler means low temperature here and pressure is high water still warmer means high temperature but the pressure is low hence the winds blow from land to sea same thing these are hot and humid winds so will bring rainfall to the area where they will reach whereas these are cool and dry winds as they are blowing from land to 
see so they will not bring rainfall these winds they blow from the uh, during the winter season and uh, adjacent to the highland may experience a local cold wind which originate over the snow capped mountains or highlands and blow down the valleys so these winds have been given local name the most famous is the mistral that blow from alps over the france so they blow from france towards the mediterranean sea and even though the skies are clear mistral bring down the temperature below freezing point okay because they blow from the mountains then variable winds cyclones generally brings destructive weather conditions and anti cyclones bring calm weather condition now children difference between tropical cyclone and temperate cyclone tropical cyclone and temperate cyclone these are the types of cyclones as the name is so temperate cyclone means the cyclones which blow in the temperate region means between 40 to 60 degree latitudes in both the hemisphere tropical cyclones in the tropical region between 10 to 30 degree latitudes in both the hemisphere these cyclones are formed due to the convergence of the warm air and the cold air mass so means at the front between the border between the cold air mass and the warm air mass these are caused due to the low pressure center where the convergence of warm dry and warm moist air masses these do not experience fronts then tropical cyclones they always blow from east to west direction whereas temperate cyclones blow from west to east direction tropical cyclones they occupy a small area whereas temperate cyclones they occupy a large area for example western disturbance which travels from the mediterranean sea to the india and brings rainfall during the winter season but these cyclones that is temperate cyclones they bring a uh, fine weather conditions and light rainfall whereas tropical cyclones they bring destructive weather and torrential rainfall hence causes loss to the life and property also then jet streams jet streams are defined as upper air surface currents in the troposphere and stratosphere means they are the concentrated bands of rapid air movements formed near the boundaries of adjacent air masses with significant temperature differences importance of jet streams jet streams impact weather on the earth these strong winds move weather patterns around the world meteorologists use the motion of the jet streams to the help for help forecast future weather events even jet streams these are very helpful to forecast monsoons in india also jet streams bring cool polar air down from the north and warm tropical air up from the south if the ridge of the jet stream is sitting over you means high pressure it is generally warm and dry in the trough is sitting under you means low pressure it is generally very cold and snowy or rainy i hope the topic is clear children thank you very much